Good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorksville First, Midvale, and Newport United Methodist Church, bringing you a devotional today out of the book of 2 Thessalonians and 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 3. And it says, But the Lord is faithful, and who shall establish you and keep you from sin? So the one thing that, that Paul focuses on here is the faithfulness of God. He says, The Lord is faithful. In fact, we can think of the verse in Romans where it says just because the Jewish people were unfaithful doesn't mean that God will be unfaithful to them. And this is a, a, a testament to God's faithfulness where Paul is using the Jewish people as an example. God made a bunch of unconditional promises to the Jewish people, mainly regarding the land of Israel and, and regarding the promises that they would, that they would have a kingdom there, that, that, that they would be established in that land. Now, of course, Israel was unfaithful. Most of the Jewish people today currently don't believe that, that, that Jesus is the Lord. They don't believe in, in Jesus Christ as, as God. And so they have been unfaithful to God. But Paul says just because they are unfaithful doesn't mean that God is unfaithful. You see, many people have said that because the Jewish people rejected Christ, that God, that they are no longer included in God's blessings, that, that they are no longer any part in God's kingdom. This has led to a lot of anti-Semitism and a lot of people who no longer support Israel. But, but that doesn't really make sense to me if God, is, if God is to be known as faithful. You see, if God abandoned people and God completely turned aside, turned, turned away from people just because, that they, just because they messed up, then you and I are in deep trouble because how many times have you and I messed up? Yet God remains faithful. God, God continues to help us. God continues to guide us even when we don't deserve it. Even when we decide to go our own way. Now that doesn't mean that, that we will escape all the consequences. But what that means is that if we, would, if we reach out to God or if we turn to God, then he stands ready to forgive us. He stands ready to bring us back into the fold. And just because we have turned away, it doesn't mean that, that, that he is not ready to accept us back. Uh, think of the prodigal son who told his father that he would that he wishes him dead, that he wanted to have his inheritance and go and party away. But when the prodigal son returned, the father, it, as a, as a picture of God, the father ran to him and hugged him. Church, we serve a faithful God, and one of the 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 proofs of his faithfulness, as Paul brings up here is that he will help keep us from sin. He will establish us and help to keep us from sin. The only way we can keep from sinning is through the power of God. We do not have it in of ourselves. We are incapable of doing it by ourselves. And so we must just praise God that he is faithful to us. Amen.